In just a few weeks, Somerset's first medical marijuana dispensary will open its doors. Iowa News News reporter Alexandra Leslie got an inside look and explains why the owner says the business will be different. Opening up Solar Therapeutics has been in the works for about a year. I spoke with the CEO who gave me an inside look to Somerset's first dispensary. The growing marijuana industry in Massachusetts keeps getting bigger. This spring, Somerset will get its own dispensary. We're between Route 6 and 195. Eyewitness News got a look at Solar Therapeutics dispensary space. CEO Edward Dow says the facility will offer medical marijuana first and recreational marijuana sales will start soon after. We're actively watching the market at all times, both the supply side, the demand side the neighboring states like Rhode Island. Just a few minutes away, Fall River's Northeast Alternatives opened its doors to recreational sales in January. It's the closest to the Rhode Island border. With traffic congestion a concern there, the Fall River Dispensary operates with a virtual line system, letting customers know when it's time to come in. Dow says for now, the Somerset facility will be a walk-in one with no appointments necessary. Parking, the traffic, obviously we've really looked into that. The site will have well over 150 parking spaces, according to Dow. I don't anticipate the problem that other locations had. The first week may be different than the following weeks. Dow says another thing that makes this dispensary different will be its carbon footprint. In the event of an of a, uh, electric grid emergency, we'll be able to pull off in 100% island mode, which I think is incredibly unique and we're also offsetting well over 50% of our carbon emissions. In a growing industry, Dow says maintaining a supply will be key to stay afloat. Supply, 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 at least for the next year to 18 months, maybe two years. Pending the final inspection approvals, the dispensary could be open within the coming weeks. Reporting in Somerset, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.